Hey there everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider 2! And so here we are at the best level in the game with one of the best themes in the game, again. Okay, so here's the deal with this level. These monks are actually on your side. You don't want to attack them because if you do, every single monk in this entire monastery will turn against you. So honestly, it's better to just let them take care of the enemies. They usually do a pretty good job of it. If you see a chance to get in a good shot or two, I guess try to take it, but just just make sure you don't shoot the monks. Anyway, that's the main entrance, but we can't get in through there, so... We needs to go up here. Okay, we need to, uh... I probably should have taken care of the crows before attempting this. And with that, we have entry to the monastery. Uh -huh. Those guys dying noises. There are many, many keys to find in this level. I can never remember where you're supposed to go first in this level, because there's so many different places to go. But we'll find the way. Well, this was definitely a good bet, because we got ourselves a key. It's the, uh, main hall key. Gee, I wonder what door that could possibly open. Let's not get crushed by boulders. That is never a good idea. Also, don't fall for this. That goes down somewhere. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'm just trying to remember exactly where we're supposed to be going first. Maybe it's over there, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I do want to look around uh, on this floor a bit more first. Okay, yeah, that, that'll that open the way to the main hall. That door over there needs another key, which we definitely don't have yet, I don't think, anyway. Yeah, we only picked up that key. Okay. Um... Actually, I don't want to go into the main hall just yet. I think we do need to go up here for something. Yeah, that hole in the middle there will attempt to suck you in. So you gotta fight against the current, basically, to get out of here. I do remember what we're gonna find here. Yep. The slammy doors of death from Tomb Raider 1 have made a comeback. Oh yeah, you can kind of see in the wall where they are up ahead. Okay, I guess the other guy didn't drop anything.
Oh, this goes back up to here. Okay. So that's where that ladder goes. So that's our uh, path back, basically. Ah yes, here is the first of the main collectible of this level. It's the prayer wheels. I think there's five of them? Yes, don't jump on the burners. I probably don't need to tell you that that's a bad idea. You know, unless you want to burn to crisp, I don't know. Anyway, at this point, I think we need to go down and unlock the main hall. I seem to recall us getting invaded by, uh... by mercenaries here at some point. Oh, there they are. Okay, we're just gonna let the monks take care of this again. That went well. I could use that full med kit right about now. Okay. That works out well. Let's uh, try going over here first. Whoa! I almost walked right into that. Oh, Lara, if only you knew how to crawl. Not a thing until later games. Okay, here we got another key. Uh -huh. I think this might be the storeroom key. Or the strong room key, yeah. Yeah, the monks have the ability to just walk right through the blades unharmed. Now that's a couple of items over there behind that glass that we need to get. But we cannot get to them from here. That's just to basically just show you that, hey, these things are here. You need to find a way to go get them.
That leads to a ladder, I think. Yeah, I don't think we need to be climbing that yet. Because I don't think we can do anything with that until we get those items behind the glass. Also, don't fall for that trap, literally. Oh shoot! I remember that part. They're, they 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 all come up that way. And they're gonna go take care of him now. Okie dokie then. Okay, let's uh, see what's up here. Oh yeah, if I remember correctly, this is actually just a very large tower. But of course, there is something important up here. And indeed there is, it's the second prayer wheel. Okay. Ah. 
I don't think there's actually anything down there. I'm pretty sure there's not. Nope, nothing. One of the secrets is behind that, but we need to drain the water in this place before we'll be able to access that. Oh, and there is the first secret. Oh, no, no, that's what I was thinking of, actually. Okay, okay, yeah, that uh, that's why I was thinking that. I, I was thinking I have to get something here before draining the water, but then I thought, wait, no, maybe it's behind the pushable crate. But no, in fact, it's not. We need to get over there to be able to stop the water. But yeah, you have to swim in there to get that dragon. So it's a good thing we came over here when we did. Keep going the wrong way. Let's uh, go back over here now and see what we can find in this area. Uh, we got more mercenaries attacking. Sure, if the monks will handle it this time. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And now we have what can only be called the Corridor of Death. Wait, I, I don't need to do that. I can just jump up like this. And if I remember right, I think the Jade Dragon is somewhere in this area. Oh, whoops. Oh, good thing I saved. Well, good thing I saved. Yes, there it is. Oh. Oh, good thing I saved. Yeah. 
And here we got yet another key. Like I said, this level has a lot of keys. And if you're wondering where the last secret is, it's right here. Uh -huh. Now the room up, up ahead is where we use the prayer wheels. Let's see exactly how many we need. We need one, two, Three, four, five. Okay, yeah, so we gotta find three more. And we gotta open that up. I think the trap door key opens that. Not sure, though. I think it actually no, I think I think we come back up through that. The trap door key opens yeah, right there. It opens the trap door right in front of the keyhole. No. No, Lara, use the trap door key. Pretty sure there's nothing down there. We just need to keep going this way. Okay, dude, not gonna shoot ya. <laughs> now, as you might expect, after coming all this way, our reward is indeed the third prayer wheel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, this was expected. Yeah, I shouldn't risk this. <laughs> Bruh, really? Okay, there we go. Looks like they took care of business over here. All right, uh, let's go check out that strong room. Which I believe is right here. No, 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 the strong room, I think it was actually up on the second floor, now that I think about it. Or no, this is the strong room, I think. Yes! Oh, and it just leads to another key. Uh -huh. That's the key for the room with the spinny wheels of death. The rooftop's key! I'm not sure if we should be finding those gems before coming up here or not. It's either that or this leads to the gems.
Okay, yeah, we need to place one of them right there. And I think, yeah, we, yeah, we get them by coming over here. I don't want to go down there. Okay, so now I can use one of the gems to go up here and open a thing. There is our fourth prayer wheel. So now there's just one more to get. You know, I gotta say, I think this level actually went pretty well. I, I mean, there was a bit of back and forth. Look, I, I know that I don't always choose the best routes to go through a level, but I'm not trying to be a speedrunner, so it don't, I, I don't really care. But I know I seem like I'm really harsh on myself about that. Because I always point out that I pick, like, these slow routes, or I always go the wrong way first, but... Nah. My aim isn't to be perfect while playing these games, or any game for that matter. Though I will admit, sometimes, I mean, obviously, I do like to showboat a little bit and try to do things perfectly, or at least really smoothly, but uh, you, you guys get the point. My point is, I'm not actually, like, criticizing myself that harshly when I point out how slow I am getting through these levels, because I know it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Unless you're a speedrunner, of course. That finally drops that open. Now that should lead us to the thing that lets us uh, stop the water. And then we can get the last prayer wheel and get out of here. Now if I'm not mistaken, I think we can slide down here. Yes. Is 
Is that gonna drop a boulder? That looks suspicious. No, it did not. Hold up, we need to push it from the other side, I believe. Yeah, so you see, if we had drained the water before getting the uh, stone dragon, then we wouldn't have been able to get it. And there's our final prayer wheel! But yeah, in all seriousness, I mean, I did better at this level than I honestly expected to. Considering how massive and complex it is. Alright, time to place these things. And here's where we finally use the Seraph.